Uh, Rafa, a couple of questions, if you don't mind. One of them is, uh, how are you feeling physically, and what, uh, what kind of information did you get about an injury that made you decide to come and try and play Madrid? No, um, I am good physically in terms of um, the rip is um, recovered. I am. I have been doing tests uh, every single week uh, to see how the situation evolves. So if I came here, it's because the doctors told me I have no risk uh, at all in that case. No, so that's that's <laughs> that first. Uh, uh, that's why I make that decision. Uh, then. It's obvious that uh, in terms of preparation, uh, it's not much. Uh, but at the same time, uh, there is no better way to to improve and to prepare for the for the future than than, be, than being here. So uh, playing here, practicing every day with the with the colleagues, uh, play the tournament. Uh, even if the um, my my personal uh, preparation haven't been there, uh, that's the probably the the faster way possible to to recover a lot of things that uh, I I don't have now yet no but I hope to to have it back in a couple of weeks if if I am able to practice with the right uh, attitude and uh, with the humility to to accept uh, the challenge and to accept that uh, going to be days that the things are not going the the right way and it's all about the process trust the process and uh at the same time, uh, trust in, in myself uh, that even the things that are not going well today uh, can be better tomorrow and better and better every single day. Thank you. We have more people. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Rafa. Talking about coming back, you know how to come back. Um, uh, I'm from Austria. That's why I'm interested especially in about the story of Dominic Team. He's a little bit struggling about coming back right now. Maybe have you talked to him about his way of coming back and the way, the way you came back in Australia? Is that an absolute uh, exception about how coming back? That's not like the usual way. No, it's true. Uh, so um, it's not the moment to put pressure on, on Dominic. Uh, and it's not fair to compare about me because in, in that case... Uh, I am not the guy uh, who likes to talk about uh, myself uh, in a good way, uh, but it's true that um, the way that I was able to, to come back a lot of times in, in my tennis career is, uh, is something uh, special and uh, is not something usual, uh, because uh, when you're coming back from a long period of time without playing, uh, the normal thing is... Uh, have a, a process and uh, that's what Dominic is going through and I, I don't have any doubt that he will be if he's healthy he will be back uh, this week next week uh, in Roland Garros or if not in Wimbledon or after no it's about time uh, he has uh, if he really has the the determination and the, the passion to keep going I don't have any doubt that he will recover 100% the level but it's about time and uh, it's a process that you need to go through Hi, good morning. Uh, I wanted to go back to Australia again because uh, I wanted to, to know when you, like months later, if you look back and you realize the incredible thing that you did over there. Mm. Uh, so I just wanted to, to talk about what happened in Australia, having this, all this time to have think about it and you have a long career, but what you did over there was so outstanding that I wanted to, I don't know, like maybe self-awareness of the incredible thing that you did. Thank well, you. I, I tell you one thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> one of the reasons why I am here and why I am uh, competitive at uh, almost 36 years old uh, is because I don't think much about the things that happened uh, in the past. No? So uh, I am not uh, a fan of uh, stays a lot of time uh, remember, remembering uh, how good uh, the thing was or how bad the thing was. You know? uh, in our sport, uh, there is not much time to, to think about Australia anymore. It's past. Uh, things go fast. Uh, Australia have been amazing, without a doubt. have been uh, one of the most emotional moments in my tennis career. But during the last month that I have time to think in, in what I was thinking is about 
about my injury. And I was sad about that. <laughs> and uh, the, the, the thing that I was uh, trying to do is just think about what I need to do to recover and to be ready for, for when I am coming back. Uh, it's not a sport that you have time. Uh, to stay uh, with the victories and to celebrate a lot of the victories if you want to keep being competitive for for uh, for the next couple of events and that's uh, and that's what I tried to do even like this uh, we can talk about Australia in another time many time uh, of course have been so special and the way that I achieved that title is is something unforgettable for the rest of my life without a doubt uh, but that life continues now and uh, that's it. I'm here in Madrid to try my best. That's all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Gracias.